All right, cat's been fed, got my tea, time to head up. I departed about 6 a.m. for Boston, picked up my passengers and got on the highway. It's not a short drive from where I live, but I enjoy road trips. In the past, I've done this trip alone, and while I can appreciate taking a journey that way, I found the trip passed very quickly when we traveled together. We discussed the upcoming convention, failed to survive a choose-your-own-adventure book, and brainstormed about a lumberjack RPG. The night before PAX, there's a board game night at the attached hotel that has become a staple of attending these past few years. Between spotting fellow attendees around Boston and walking into this event, it tends to get me into the mindset of PAX very quickly. It's a different world for those three days. I always find it odd to end your day in a place so very different, physically and mentally, from the one where you awoke. There's a lot to do at PAX. The expo floor, of course, the panels, the video games in all forms, the board game area, and more. For my part, I spent much of my time working at Games On Demand. It's an initiative that I want to support. I ran many games. Dread, Siren, Everyone is John, Dread, It Was a Mutual Decision, Monsters and Their Childish Things, Dread. Dread was very popular. I played a few games as well, and of course bought some. The end of the convention comes far too quickly. We say our goodbyes to new friends and try to find our old ones amid the crowds. The drive home went very quickly as well, even as we reached into the early morning hours. We discussed our experiences, the people we'd met, the games we'd played, and of course our plans for next year. The people are what makes an event like PAX. The organizers can only put up a venue. We're the ones that make it special. Yes, exactly, where you have an objective, but it has to be secret from the other players, and whoever yeah. achieves it the most gets like the most points. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But in this case, in this case, it's like either dressing up as a woman or like, I don't know, something weird like that. Yeah, Drinking like, the sap right out of the tree. Something really just kind of foul. I, I almost think that you'd have to like have it be really difficult, mm -hmm. but basically I think it would be it's, it's a justification game, you know? Like, mm -hmm. your character has to be like, oh, I got like covered in like gasoline. I better go like change out of these clothes. <laughs> the men's room is locked. <laughs> <laughs> to survive, I must wear this bra. The game of justification. <laughs> and everyone has to play these really, like, big, manly, robust lumberjack characters. Who secretly, like, want to do something like dressing up like Maybe a Maybe you get points by, like, chopping wood and doing shit like that, like regular manly shit, and then you can use those points, once you've gained them, to do something transgressive. Yeah, I mean, it could be, you know, it could be whatever. Like, can we think of other ideas besides dressing up like a woman? Because, I mean, that's a classic, I, but, like... I, yeah, that's true. I mean, I feel like, though, whatever the lumberjack wants to do in secret like, would have to be transgressive. Like, like baking even, something like crumpets or something Yeah, like baking, that. or, I mean, you could go really dark with it. You could have, make them have, like, drug problems or something, but I don't uh, think, I think that's, that's funny. I, I, think, I think that's too dark for, 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 for a <laughs> lumberjack game. What do you think there, Matt? I think you have to do something secret yeah. to get the points to make you successful at being a lumberjack. Oh, the other way around. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Like, so it's you... like it's like Gaston, your job is really off today. Oh, great. So you're gonna go run away and wear a dress for a while. Yeah. I, I think that's. But the then you can't point. get caught because if you get caught, you're then done. you don't get the points for it. So these things have to be done yes. in secret. Oh no, there's gotta about. be a punishment beyond just not getting the points. Like yeah. there's gotta be like an in-game reason for people to be like, ha. Well, just. It's like getting a critical. You made a pie. <laughs>